This is the fourth video that I've put together on building a fairly basic GUI. Um, there's nothing really new covered in this video. Um, it's really just showing you uh, how to complete the GUI that I showed at the very start and maybe reinforcing a couple of points that you saw er earlier on, but there's nothing new. Uh, so let's maybe just get on with it and we'll create the GUI. Um, from the last video we were at the stage where we had um, the following GUI created. So we had a GUI which had a text box, an ellipse and um, a push button. And as we change the the, te the value in the text box we could change the colour of the ellipse. Um, so what we need to do now is just add in um, a couple of extra controls. One is a, a slider control and we create that again using the built-in UI control function in MATLAB. But we set the style of the the, the control to being a slider. And you'll notice that um, the slider has min and max values associated with it. So the min value is 0 0.5 and the max is 2. And its initial position is, is 1. And that initial position is controlled by this variable value. And let me just add the, uh, the object to the GUI. So there's the object created. And um, what I wanted to do then was just finish up. I added one final uh, object, which just specifies that it's something to control the ellipse size. And now I could have used an annotation to create this object here, but there are extra features that you can use if you set it up as a UI control. But uh, we won't deal with it in this video. Um, but I'm just going to have the command window open in the background so you can see what's happening. But you can see the maximum value associated with the slider is a value of 2, the min is 0 0.5. Uh, it's starting off at a position of 1 uh, because in the code we set it equal to 1. So we set the initial value to being 1. So there is a value property associated with the slider and that value property will change as we move the slider. When I move the slider up to the very top the value property will be 2. When I move the slider down to the bottom that value property will become 0 0.5. So that's basically how the slider works. Now if I move the slider at the moment I'll get this error because I haven't defined the uh, change size function. So you can see going back to the code again, um, and we've set up a callback function um, for this slider object and when the slider is manipulated this callback function change size is called upon and there are two parameters passed. The first parameter is the handle to the ellipse object because we need to be able to manipulate the ellipse we want to be able to change its size so we need to pass the handle of the ellipse to that function. And we're also passing the variable called ellipse position. And ellipse position is just defined at the very top here. There we go. And it's really the starting position of the ellipse. And uh, we'll see how that's used then to change the overall size. So what I need to do first of all is actually create this function change size. Now I have it created down below. I just wanted to I need to create it just so you can see the steps to follow in order to do that. So I'm just going to copy that first of all. And we go back into the command window and we'll edit change size.m. We'll make a, a new one. We'll paste the code in here. And again, we can see there's four values being passed. Even though we have explicitly said that only two have been passed. We have a, a handle to the ellipse and also the position of the ellipse. Those were two of the parameters that we explicitly stated uh, when we created the slider object. But these two other objects are always passed. So this first is uh, a handle to the object that is used to call the function. So in this case it's a handle to a, the slider. Um, okay, uh, so that's the function setup. And Maybe we'll just see it in action first of all. So as I move the slider, we can see that the size has been changed. Move the slider down, the sorry, the size of the ellipse gets smaller. As I move the slider up, it gets larger. 
Um, okay. So that's reasonably straightforward to see. Uh, let's just go through the code to see how that actually occurs in practice. So again, what's happening is as I move this slider position, the value property associated with the slider is changing. So when it's at the top, the value property is 2. When it's at the bottom, the value property is 0 0.5. And as we move it in between, the value, or sorry, yeah, the, the value of the value property, or Another way of saying that is the numerical value associated with the value property is changing. It's increasing at the moment and decreasing when I click this down button. So here's the code that is uh, changing the size of the ellipse. And um, what we're doing first of all is we're getting the value property associated with the um, associated with the slider object. And the way we get that value property is we use the the handle to that object, okay, and that's passed as I said by default, okay. So we don't explicitly have to state that when we create the um, the slider object. So we're getting that value, we're storing it in slider value. So this slider value will be some value between 0 0.5 and 2. Then what I'm doing is creating a new variable called new position, and that's set equal to the original position, okay, and um, then what I'm doing is I'm changing the last two values associated with the position. So maybe I'll just remind you what the position looks like. Um, go back into basic GUI and that there it is. That's what the original position is. So the first two values specify the coordinates and the second two values specify the width and the height. Okay? So Going back to the change size function, um, this new position variable is that four element uh, array. Okay, uh, but what I'm doing down here is I'm changing the last two parameters, parameters or elements three and four. I'm changing the last two elements of the array by multiplying the original elements by the slider value. So in the event that slider value is two. I'm basically changing the last two um, elements of the array. I'm doubling them, okay, which will double the size. In the event that slider value is 0 0.5, I'm halving the last two, which is the width and the height of the um, ellipse object. Uh, uh, the width represents rather the width and the height of the ellipse, okay. And then finally, after manipulating this variable new position. I am using the set function in MATLAB to change the ellipse object via its handle uh, and I'm changing the property position to this new position. Okay, so it might take a little bit of going through on your own to fully get, but hopefully you can see understand how this is working now and um, hopefully you have enough to develop some uh, more interesting GUIs. Okay, thanks for your attention.